Level control system failure. Toxins identified. Execute cleanup procedure. Log of Nicola Sedgway, member of USC Mars Hazmat Response Team, dated October 1st, 2145. We have concluded that the Martian atmosphere is wreaking havoc on the exhaust valve seals in the standard number 5 disposal drums. The engineers cannot explain the high level of contaminants in our internal atmosphere. The air scrubbers and filtration systems all seem to be operating at normal levels. It, a small layer of particulate is making it into the storage areas. That is what caused the lockdown yesterday. EAP Director Charles Hollis informs me that the personnel won't be harmed by these contaminants in the air, but we've seen that they do cause a corrosive reaction when introduced to the rubber compounds used in the storage systems. Effective immediately, all number five disposal drums must be locked away in at least a class two rated transport medium. Assessment ends. Shut down.
Yes, are we? And in such a hurry to find us, to find me. There's no need to rush. I am everywhere, and everything here is mine. We thank you for alerting the fleet, for warning them. You're such a fool. They are racing here, racing to us, and we are waiting. Waiting for them to fall into their worst nightmare. They will join my legion, and with their ships, I will bring this hell to Earth. You won't live to see it, and you will die long before you have a chance to warn them.
danger level orange. Unsafe toxicity level detected.
This is the audio log of engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. They have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the monorail systems. My fellow engineers and I are confident that the accident of last week will never happen again. The accident should never have happened in the first place. The internal sensors led the computers to believe that there was a vacuum inside the vehicle. Unfortunately, the computer decided that the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to open all doors in an attempt to equalize pressure with the outside. Going over 15,000 lines of code today, I can see no reason for this tragic event to have occurred. Somehow, the logs show the discrepancies clearly. I was stay. waiting here on the train Honestly, for my this partner. To me like another he went to investigate what was going on. Going to hell and never came back. Confident no, that the layers of protection I added to the code today I don't know what the hell will prevent any on. such occurrences from but happening again. I bet it has to do with those artifacts. I'm off to meet engineer Jim too. Turbin at the access doors to the Delta Complex platform those to try and troubleshoot the faulty track sensor the Delta that's complex. been causing the doors stick. Remember, safety first. Please do not exit the vehicle without wearing proper environmental protection. In the event of an emergency stop, Marsec will be dispatched immediately for your safety. Have a nice day. Now entering Site 2. Warning, air lock malfunction. Please contact engineering to facilitate repairs. Thank you, and have a nice day.
This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, EAP Director, dated September 5th, 2145. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the Council has made a decision that all environment processors be brought offline in the... Report to Site 2 Access Ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. Engineering, please report to Site 2 Access Ramp. Airlock malfunction detected.
Engineering, please report to Site 2 access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. Engineering, please report to Site 2 access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. Engineering, please report to Site 2 access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, EAP Director, dated September 5th, 2145. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the Council has made a decision that all environment processors be brought offline in the general area of Site 2. Tomorrow, I will be sending out emails to all team leaders asking for an update on their asset relocation program to Site 3. We feel that we have unearthed enough useful material as it pertains to the project from Site 2 and choose to now devote resources in the exploration of Site 3. End log recording. Engineering, please report to Site 2 access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected.
engineering. Please report to Site 2 access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, EAP Director, dated September 5th, 2145. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the Council has made a decision that all environment processors be brought offline in the general area of Site 2. Tomorrow, I will be sending out emails to all team leaders asking for an update on their asset relocation program to Site 3. We feel that we have unearthed enough useful material as it pertains to the project of Site 2, and choose to now devote resources in the exploration of Site 3. End log recording. Airlock security override enabled.
Next stop, Delta Complex. Engineering, please report to Delta Complex Access Ramp. Track sensor failure detected. Automated turret guns online. Warning. Automated turret guns online. Warning. Automated turret guns online. Automated turret guns online. Warning. Automated turret guns online. Attention. Automated turret guns offline.